Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd just like to know what the high yield is on uh, that whole uh, sector of the bond industry. <laughs> you know, when markets go down, a lot of times those those bonds lose their credit rating. And then <laughs> there's that double A plus where we're going to go to double A. <laughs> just so I know, when you're not paying the government to go to work, where's all that money go? <laughs> <laughs> I know it should increase the credit rating of the United States <laughs> shutting down the government for a five billion dollar wall mm -hmm. so that we can increase our credit rating so we can look better to the rest of the world <laughs> now I mentioned these five star hotels that I I thought for sure that I was going to reside in so, mm -hmm. I know how important it is the luxury industry yes in fact they had quite a conference that I would like to go to it's a uh, it's some big deal that they have for those in the luxury hotel business. Yeah. Now, I know when the market's going up, everybody can afford five-star Michelin. Mm -hmm. Could you get me the Michelin rating of every hotel of the world? Yes. And then, um, well, these, these Michelin's like some sort of um, guide to luxury five-star hotels. Yes. And uh, there was, oh, look at the 22nd Annual International Hotel Investment Forum. <laughs> they have approximately 400 billion euros in assets under management. Yes. Mm -hmm. 2,350 delegates and 213 industry-leading speakers. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, 87 global CEOs, they all want to be involved in the world's most influential hotel investment event. <laughs> Well, let's say you're five star market goes down somebody thinks well i just can't afford that thousand dollar night room anymore i'm gonna have to go four star maybe three star yeah and it turns out that all your three star hotels are all junk bonds because nobody wants to stay at a three star <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to this next <laughs> credit crisis, or <laughs> should we say market crisis? <laughs> if it's not Y2K because we are, the computers are not going to shut down? Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember that? <laughs> that was quite an event. Somebody was absolutely sure they wouldn't go from 99 to 00. zero. <laughs> and I'm, I'm thinking at the Federal Reserve Bank, you guys all updated your computers in the last 18 years? Yeah. <laughs> you got some new ones? <laughs> <laughs> why don't you get me the yield of all those uh, all that debt of corporations that say well if the market goes down it won't really hurt us yes now i was looking at these five-star hotels could you get me all the delegates for the last 22 annual international hotel investment forums yes Let's say you, you got $400 billion in assets under management. Yes. How they calculate that. <laughs> you know, it's like a survey you fill out. You say, well, how many billions in assets under management do you have? <laughs> Let's say you didn't have anything. Coach. You just wanted to buy a ticket to it thinking you might invest in it one day. <laughs> I just wanted to know the participants. <laughs> now, uh, well, the luxury hotel business is really good. I mean, <laughs> when you look at this, oh, <laughs> these are beautiful locations. And <laughs> their client base must be just tremendous, all these. Well, are you, do you really have to be wealthy to stay in a five-star <laughs> luxury coach? <laughs> Now, um, there, there's uh, portfolios of hotels known as real estate investment trusts. Yes. I'd like to know uh, all the five-star real estate investment trusts and the actual yield on those REITs. Pooch. These real estate investment trusts, they're really something I've looked at them quite often. In fact, I like a lot of them. <laughs> Let's say the mortgage interest on a commercial loan is approximately 6%. <laughs> You're triple B rated. You got nothing to concern yourself about. <laughs> Your thought is as long as we provide the best quality customer experience in a <laughs> Michelin rated five star oops, <laughs> hotel, there's no possible way it'll influence exactly. <laughs> 
just get me the actual bond yields of all those that are in the hotel business. <laughs> now, I know you borrowed. You had to. Uh -huh. You had to stay competitive. In fact, I saw the show about the Carlisle. Oh, it seemed like really a really nice place. It's there in New York, and it's one of these experiences that if you go there, yes, it has some influence on your thoughts as a, as a guest. Yes. <laughs> You know, wanting to stay in hotels that influence my thoughts. <laughs> I'm wanting to file some lawsuits today, and <laughs> I have some innovations I've been wanting to sell. <laughs> then there's the Ritz. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, I know these general managers of the the highest rated Michelin. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Westbury Hotel and. New York's Upper East Side. Yes. <laughs> this is a, a really nice area. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know, um, why don't you get me the actual yield of the debt of the very exclusive, luxurious, five-star rated, Michelin-rated hotels? <laughs> Somebody's been selling a lot of debt, and they've looked really good for the last three years. Yes. But when it's do I spend that money or do why don't you give me the yield of all those bonds? 